Hey friends, you guys asked for it, so we're at Ross. Every time I've ever shopped at Ross for beauty products, I never really find anything. But you guys said you want to see it, so let's check it out. If you like these videos, I hope that you'll subscribe. Give this one a thumbs up. Uh, hit the notification bell. It's kind of weird doing this and not looking at you, but I want to show you the store. Um, hit the notification bell so that you're notified. I do these like at least once or twice a week. I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. I've done Target, not Target, Nordstrom Rack, TJ Maxx. So let's go into Rock. All right, looks like they have this for Mother's Day. Lots of gift sets. What is this? Pro Highlight Contour Palette for $9.99. What does it look like? Well, that's not gonna contour me, but that's cute. It's <laughs> cute for someone. Um, what is this? Is this Marilyn Monroe? What brand is this? $6. Ooh, this is cute. Brush set, makeup set from Beauty List. See, I've never heard of any of these brands. $9.99. I feel like Ross is more just like, uh, oh, I forgot to put my nail back on. <laughs> this is Paris Hilton. Oh, these are nail polishes. That's cute. This is six bucks. That's actually pretty cute. I forgot to clip on my nail, friends. Do excuse it. <laughs> mm. Beauty Muse Pro Mom Boss. This is actually cute. I should get my mom something. Ten bucks. I forgot that Daisy Fuentes has a brand. How cute is this packaging? How much is this? This is only nine dollars? This is actually really cute. Wow. Ross is surprising me. I mean, I don't know many of these brands, but that's pretty cool. <gasps> oh, remember we saw this at uh, TJ Maxx? How much is this? $26. It's the same price here at Ross, but this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Vault. I really like these. Another NYX Beauty School Dropout. That's funny. Looks like it's eyeshadows, blush, all that. And it's cheap, friends. Oh no, it's not that cheap. 17 that's not bad. Uh, what's this? Oh, more Nicole Miller stuff. This is a great little section for gifts. $7. This is really cute. This is Juicy Couture. A brush and a mug for $13. All this stuff is really cute. Ooh, what's this? Gift bag set for $16. Nice. Of this brush set. These brushes are really cute. I wonder if they're good quality. This is $13. That's really cute. Juicy Couture. This is like a little tweezer scissor set. You guys know I love glitter. This is super tacky, but I like it. <laughs> Ooh, real techniques. Little Techniques brush set, little tweezer set, $6. You see, never judge a book by its cover. I was just telling you guys I thought Ross would suck. A uh, little, what do you call these things? Acrylic brush holder thing, five bucks. I don't know what this is. The Beauty Bar 69 piece beauty hat box. Whoa, I wonder if these are even good quality. That's really cute. How much is this? Oh, it's only 20 bucks. That's a little suspect to me. And I don't like when shadows are that small, but it's cute. There's a spa gift set, five piece. Guys, if you're looking for cute gift sets for your mom for Mother's Day, this stuff is cute, or even for yourself. Uh, random gloves. Oh, this is pretty. A little vanity mirror for $8. It's really pretty. Oh, there's me. Hello. L'Oreal Age Perfect, $10.99. Mm, oh, L'Oreal Revitalist, $10.99. Uh, there's not much makeup, only really skincare. Neutrogena, $6. Some mask here. Ellen Tracy. What's this? Oh, Dr. Brandt. When did Ross start carrying Dr. Brandt? This is $40. Nice. What is this? Is this Clinique? Advanced Clinicals. What is this? Mm, 
Alright, they don't have much makeup here, but how cute are these Steve Madden shoes? They're only 35 bucks. I just bought those Jeffrey Campbell white heels. I'll leave a link to them down below, so I don't need these, but those are really cute, friends. And then I have these. These are on sale for like $13. What do you guys think? Because I have big feet, I try to stay away from shoes like these. I'm going to try them on and see, but... 13 bucks, not bad, but I'm really eyeing these. I'm all about white and pink right now. I think those are super cute. And yes, I have very large feet. That is a size 10 we're looking at. <laughs> Hello friends. Okay, so I know in these videos, a lot of you are like, I'm just getting comfy here. A lot of you were like, you never show us what you buy. You never show us what you buy. Show us in a haul. The thing is guys, I if you can hear like a lot of wild birds, there's it's really warm outside and there's like birds flying by um and it's really distracting to look at you guys and not the view because it's gorgeous but anyways a lot of times when I go to these stores and do these videos I don't always buy things um here's the thing if I bought like stuff every time I went to these stores I would literally go broke because I film these videos at least once or twice a week so sometimes when I go to like TJ Maxx Nordstrom Rack I don't buy anything or if I do I'll buy like eyelashes or shoes so maybe I could put that like all collectively in one haul and then show you like in a big haul sometimes I do buy a lot of stuff but most of the time I'd say like 70% of the time I don't buy anything but today since you guys have I always asked when I do buy stuff I'll just mention it or show you if it's not a lot I only bought shoes that Ross really surprised me if any of you live in the Palm Oh gosh, I get all these cities confused. It's near Palm Springs. I think it's ran called like Rancho Palm Desert or Palm Desert. Um, that Ross was pretty good for like gift sets and things. There was, there was some makeup, but there was a lady there that was doing inventory and she was kind of looking at me weird. They're a lot more relaxed about filming out here, but where I live in Los Angeles, they do not like you filming in the store. And someone that worked there explained it to me. I put this in my comments because someone else asked this on the last video. They're like, why do they not like you filming? From what I understand, an employee told me, I'm trying to look a little louder. I hope you guys can hear me because you're kind of far away. An employee told me that um, a lot of times when you're filming in the store, you get other customers on camera and the store is responsible for filming in the store so if you get another customer on camera really the store is supposed to get a release from them or technically I am but since I'm filming in their store the store would have to get a release saying they're okay with being on camera and if they're not okay with being on camera then I think like a customer could really cause problems for the store so that's why when I film I try not to get people in my videos because I think that's what the store really doesn't like they don't want you getting other customers in video that doesn't want to be in video because then the store could be responsible, from what I understand. And I feel like it's just common courtesy. Some people just don't want to be on your video. They don't want to be filmed. I get it. Some days I don't even want to be filmed. So, like people film me. If I don't want to be filmed, I don't film myself, but I get it. So, that's the whole smooth. So, I only got two things, friends. Picked up these flats that I actually put on today. I don't even know if I showed you guys these. I need more flat shoes. I'm a heels girl. I live my life in heels. I always make the joke, like, bury me in heels, but I'm not joking. I do really want to be buried in heels. The higher, the better. Um, but I need more flats just for, like, work, running around. So I pick these up. I mean, they're not the cutest. And my feet are really big. I don't know if you can see that. Size 10. My feet are really big, so I try not to get, like, super pointy shoes, but I thought these were cute. I did actually put them on today at work, and... They're comfy up front, but then like this part, this heel part starts rubbing against the, against the skin and it really hurts. I feel like you really have to be careful with raw shoes. Sometimes you can really find a great deal. They're comfortable. They're long wearing. They Not long wearing. I'm thinking of makeup. They last a really long time. They're good quality. But sometimes, like these were 15 bucks. They're from the brand Report. They're not that great quality. Like these are comfortable in the front, but they're really painful around the heel. So I don't know whatever like how is a flat gonna hurt me I wear heels and I never have pain and then I did show you guys these I did pick these up how freaking cute are these Steve Madden I swear Steve Madden makes some of the cutest more affordable shoes or is that considered middle of the road because sometimes Steve Madden can go up to like 120 I think the most expensive Steve Madden shoe I've ever seen was like 150 these are 34.99 if I can find them online I'll leave a link to them down below 
I'm all about white and pink right now. I don't know why. I love everything white, everything pink, as far as like clothing. So I thought these were really cute. That's all I picked up, friends. I didn't pick up any makeup. I didn't pick up any beauty stuff. I was thinking of getting one of those gift sets for my mom, but I have so many gifts for her already. She's probably watching this, so I don't really need any more. So that's all I got. But I told you guys I would try to start showing you. Did I get anything else? Oh, and the Red Bull, which is really, really bad. I haven't drank these in like months, but I have been so exhausted. So, so let's go over some product reviews, friends. First up from First Aid Beauty, we have their, this is like their acne bundle. We have their Skin Rescue Purifying Mask with Red Clay. I've actually tried this. I think this came to me in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. I really like this mask. It's really good at like drawing out the impurities in your skin, keeping my pores really small. I'm all about it. I don't use it all over the face because I'm my skin is like combo right now. And does this have salicylic acid? I don't know. The face wash that I use from First State Beauty has salicylic acid. And then I've also, and this has salicylic acid too. I've also been using their acne clearing pads. It has 2% salicylic acid with white clay. These are really good if you have oily, acne-prone skin, which I have like on my forehead, on my nose. My skin has really been doing great, but I still have problem areas. So I've been using these two with the um, face wash, and I've really been liking that. Next up from Narcissus, not Narcissus. It says Narcissus on here. The flower, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. There's a flower called Narcissus. I've butchered it. This is Mamandy. This is their Floral Hydro Cream. You guys know I love Mamandy. I've been using their Lip Sleeping Mask. I use this. Look at the packaging. Ooh, now that the light's on it, you can see. I've been using this um, as a morning moisturizer. It's a little too light for me to use it as a nighttime moisturizer. It's moisturizing. It's hydrating. It smells amazing. You guys know I also love Mamandy's Lip Sleeping Mask. I'll leave a link to that down below. You can pick up Mamandy. Um at Ulta or on Mamadi's website. I'll leave a link to it down below. I really like this. I love their packaging. How gorgeous is that? So pretty. And then lastly, this is the foundation I actually have on now. I'm just updating you guys. I did a full review video on this foundation. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation in Sienna. Let's see. It's currently like seven. Wow, it's, I just realized it's 7 o'clock and it's completely daylight out still. I love spring. It's currently 7 p.m. I put this on at 6 a.m. I've had this on for 11 hours and it's still full coverage. I love this stuff. Even when I get oily, I don't feel like it's super heavy and weighing me down for the amount of coverage it gives. If you need a full coverage foundation, I recommend this. I know some of you commented saying it's a little too heavy for you, but... Remember, I wear foundations like Estee Lauder Double Wear, Kat Von D Locket uh, Tattoo. So to me, this is like not heavy. It doesn't feel heavy at all. But I can imagine if you're used to more like medium coverage or light coverage, this would seem heavy. But to me, it doesn't. If you're used to full coverage, maybe it won't seem too bad to you. So that's it for me, friends. That's all I got from Ross. Let me know in the comments down below what stores you would like to see next. Um, I was thinking someone mentioned Big Lots. I don't know where there's a Big Lots in Los Angeles, but I can find out. Does Big Lots sell makeup? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out the videos on the screen, and I will see you soon.